to the vlog yes i took my hair out we're just going to speed past that i took them out sometime last week and i've just been throwing it getting used to the whole fro situation you see it i see it we've all see it okay so here's the current situation okay i need to get ready for a date uh i wasn't so sure i wanted to go on this date because like nah, but like you know like forget it I'm gonna say fuck it, but I don't know why. I don't know why I just like randomly try to censor myself. Pretty much what we're gonna do is clean the face, redo the face, um, zhuzh up the hair, and then maybe try and find an outfit to wear because like, what am I gonna wear? I've literally thrown out everything, anything and everything in my closet, I threw it all out. I have basically nothing to wear. I wear the same three items of clothing every week and then I wash them. <laughs> I'm stressing out. I'm really, I'm really, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think maybe we should just start off with doing a mask. I haven't done a mask in a hot minute. My skin lately, I don't know. I've been breaking out. It could be the stuff that I'm eating because I'm just eating whatever the hell I want to eat. So like my skin's been breaking out and then this like um, moisturizer that I got, I feel like it's just not helping. When I don't use this, my face is fine, but when I use this, my skin is more oily than normal, which is weird, but my face is dry. And then this is for dry skin, and then by the time I get home from work, it's just like a hot mess. I'm like, well, what the hell is it? What the hell is it? Because right now, I mean, it's fine. I, I don't know. My, my skin needs maybe like a, like a, like a, like a liquidy serum, maybe, not so much a cream. So, unfortunately, it hurts my heart and my pockets to throw it away, even though it's not that expensive but like i hate to buy stuff and then like have a whole thing full of it and then like not use it but like it sucks it doesn't do anything like i've noticed lately that i'm just like why am i putting this on my face if every time i get home it's just like you look like you swam in a pool of sweat like what's going on so and it literally it literally threw itself in the trash i kid you not i kid you not it's in the trash right now like one shot one done like just it's in the trash you know what today's gonna be a good day Today's gonna be a good day. I didn't even try. It just fumbled out of my hand and it said, you know what? You're gonna talk bad about me? I'm gonna just leave on my own accord. And that's what it did. So we're gonna use this to um, cleanse the face. I haven't used this in a hot minute. It's a, what is it? The Freeman Exfoliating Gel Mask and Scrub. It's a charcoal and black sugar to purify my skin. I do need it. My pores, I mean, my pores have been relatively small lately, but like, I don't know. She needs... She needs something. She used to be just great. I don't know if it's just me aging, you know? Is that like her skin is changing, but whatever. I'm gonna just toilet paper real quick. I'm gonna wash my face anyways with the exfoliant. So I just kind of want to get most of the black brown off my face. All right, damp face it says. So we're gonna take a little bit of water, All right? I don't know what I'm gonna do with this hair. I don't know what I'm going to do with this hair. I've been trying to embrace the fro because I want to grow my natural hair out. I've never really had long natural hair. I would like to try, but every time I get to this point, I want to stick a freaking blow dryer in it. I want to stick a flat iron in it and just straighten it so that it's easier to deal with and manipulate. Like I don't want, and I'm rubbing it in. I don't care. I don't follow directions, as you can see. And I really don't want to do that. I want to see how long and luscious and curly my hair can get without me actually like messing with it. So <laughs> this part of my hair stage, I'm like in agony. I like I don't know what to do. I've only ever been in this state once, and that was a couple years ago. For right before my 21st birthday, I think I just chopped it all off. I had dreadlocks, believe it or not, they're about this long. That's why I know that my hair can get really, really long if I just stop, you know manipulating with heat all the time so but yeah the last time i um chopped my hair off was back in i think 2019 right before my 21st birthday if i'm not mistaken chopped it all off and then i was at this stage for a good while until i could figure out that i ended up until i learned that i could actually put it up in a bun maybe i didn't cut it as short as i did actually no i think it was the same short but I didn't think it was like that short for a long time. But what I'm neglecting to remember is that when I did this haircut this time around, I kind of went and got the shot, shines, the sides shaved a lot for a good month or two months, I think. So maybe that kind of didn't really help. Plus when I first cut off my hair, the, the second time around when doing it, 
I had it, it was a bigger fro, but then I just kept making it shorter because I was just like, no, I'm gonna rock the short hair for a long time. And after two months, I was just like, yeah, no. No ma'am, no sir, no ma'am. That's not, no. That's where we're at. I'm trying to manage. With all that being said, I have no idea what I want to do with my hair. I've been experimenting lately with hairstyles, but like everything, I hate everything. And then like my six head, not even a five head, my, my, my six head is so ginormous that it's just, it just makes everything off. Like look at that, what is that? <sighs> Insane. Insane. And then like, is it catfishing if like I just bring, you know, my whole my whole fro down this way and make it seem like my forehead is shorter? Is that catfishing? I don't know. It's me. It's still me. It's just you know, people do that all the time. Bald men do that all the time. You see how like much better? Well, it's not doing me justice. See how much better this is? You know, less forehead as opposed to like what the fuck? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Although I do have this little headband thing and pushing it back a little bit just because I don't know I, I, this, I was just trying to I was just trying new things lately and I don't know why The last two days though, let me just take this out This is just those squirrels. It's just the squirrel friends in here So you're just going to accept me for who I am and not judge me for this What is this? So I bought this along with a, lo a lot of other things to see if I can just like I don't know embrace the fro and um yeah the other day though i did have this hairstyle where it was like kind of like a faux hawk situation which i re i really did kind of like but the clips didn't really stay in where i wanted it to be or should i like fro fro it should i go big amarala negra like big ass fro and just that whole thing you know what i mean you know what i mean what if i like pick it out i've never picked it out all the way i think i did no i think i think i did when i took my braids out i think i did but maybe if i like gave it the proper care and maintenance and throw it out maybe it would look nice then again i don't know what i'm wearing anyways i'll come back to you in like five to ten minutes after this is set we're gonna wash our face and then hopefully i have an outfit picked out by then i don't know okay 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 all right, so it's a little bit later, face is cleaned, I took a shower, I kind of tried to give myself a general idea of what I wanted to do with the hair. I've decided I'm gonna go with the mohawk. Of course, I'm going to finish the hair look once I'm done with the makeup because sometimes the hair is a little bit finicky. So I just kind of went and tried to see what the heck it is that I wanted to do and then we'll finish it after the makeup is done. So here we go. I also think that I have an outfit that I might wear. I don't know, but like I think I have an outfit, so usual skin routine i swear by this skin perfecting um what is it called again a liquid exfoliant i swear by this i love this every time i wash my face i feel like my face is super washed and then i put a little bit of this on with like a little what is the thing is called like a cleansing pad and like oh my god like it's it like it removes the like extra dirt and impurities that have like been left on my face that even i can't see and it's just Oh, chef's kiss look i know i've shown you guys before but i will show you again just so that like i can show you that this this neutrogena skin perfecting daily liquid exfoliant liquid <laughs> is like the bomb.com so neutrogena if you're watching um if you just want to send me like one bottle just like one bottle because it's like a little it's a little bit pricey just a little bit just a little bit you know i can afford it you know, but it's a little pricey. So if Neutrogena, you're out there and you're watching this video and you just want to send me a little sample size, I, it, much appreciated. But I am running low on this and I do have to get some more eventually. But you don't, you don't really need that much. You just need enough to kind of wet the pad. A little pad, a little cotton ball, whatever it is. If that ever floods your boat, especially I like to get in those little nooks and crannies. Of my nose here because here i feel like i always have like stuff in there and i don't know why you see how like insane that is look at that that's all dirt so this is clean white you know the opposite side and then look at that isn't that just insane it's crazy i know i know but my face always feels like extra clean like once that's done i'm like all right you got everything off your face and i missed I'm gonna use my Freeman Moisturizing Gel Mask. I usually use this at night right before bedtime, but because I just kind of threw away the other one, and I don't have another one to take its place for like, you know, the day, even though I, it's gonna be nighttime in a minute. Now to put on my eyebrows, as I like to say, and then I'm gonna do my face. I'm not really gonna walk through my whole routine just because like, 
I'm not a makeup guru. Never have been. Not gonna try and start to be one right now, but it's very basic and simple. I don't really use foundation. I have this like um, BB Fresh Cream Skin Hydrating Beauty Balm. So it has like a tint to it. So it kind of just takes the place of foundation to me. So I like to use this as well as this Maybelline Fit Me. Uh, I guess I'm a Maybelline girl. I'm a Maybelline girly. <laughs> and then I use this, um, what is this called? Oh my god, what is this called? Concealer. Oh my god. I prefer a cream concealer, especially like this kind of way. Because like, I don't know. Like before I used to like use the liquid. And I felt like it moved around on my face a lot. And I just it wasn't me. So I use this little Maybelline concealer stick to kind of um, conceal. And powder, of course. I use just a regular Schmegular Elf powder. I have this Rimmel London Maxi Blush. I've had this blush forever. I feel like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And until it starts to actually start giving me a rash on my cheeks, I'm not gonna throw it out. And there's still like a lot left. Plus, I kind of like use blush sparingly because like, when would I ever blush? Anyway. <laughs> And then otherwise, depending on how I'm feeling, if I want like a look look, like a little like I beat my face a little bit, then I'll put on some uh, contour and that's pretty much it. If not, I do a lot of it with the blush, but there are like two different tones that I like kind of like go for just depending on like if I want to like look extra goldfish or not, but that's that. And then sometimes I do eyeshadow, sometimes I don't. I tend to get very oily on my eyelids, so like the eyeshadow would look good for like an hour and then like the oil starts to seep through and then like my eyeshadow is gone, it's transferred to the top of my eyelid. <laughs> There's probably a way to fix that. I haven't invested enough time to try and figure out what that is or why it happened. So yeah, that's basically the gist of all of the things that I use. So I'm going to do my face right now real quick and yeah. I like to start off with my eyebrows first just because like I think it's easier and like I'm like proficient at my eyebrows now so So makeup is pretty much done. I don't like to do too, too much and make it look like it's heavy or anything. So all pretty much done. I was going back and forth on whether, on whether or not I wanted to do eyeshadow. And then last minute I did eyeshadow. It is what it is. So real quick, I'm going to do my hair. And then we're going to put on a little outfit. Maybe I wonder if I should gel it down first. And then um, wet it to give it shape. We'll see. Okay, so this is the final look with the hair. I like the little full mullet kind of sort of vibe when I kind of like pull the hairs down a little bit more down here by my neck. But as you can see, covered the forehead a little bit, shortened up my forehead. Love that. I look great. This hairstyle, like I wore it like two days ago and I was just like, okay, okay, fro. Okay, her little fro. Although I was tempted a little bit to like kind of like shave the sides again a little more because you see how like cuter it looks with this side shape down as opposed to just throwing it. At least for me, I don't know, I just feel like it shapes my face a little bit better. But she's a whole little look or whatever. I can get used to this little, little faux hawk for a minute until my hair grows out, but I am pretty much done. I basically just need to change and um, head out. Let me just show you what my outfit is. I'm not really sold on it, but maybe if I put it on with the hair and everything, it is what it is. But I do have to hurry up because I am going to be late okay so i was thinking this whole like dress situation and like now that i put it on i don't know if i really like it with the short hair i don't know, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah like from here up it kind of whatever you know like a business dinner or whatever but like i don't know i don't i don't know okay so like this is what the dress looks like i don't know she's i gotta zip it up of course i don't know if this is a contender i'm i'm I don't know, it just looks very like October y vibes, if that makes sense. Like, I'm going to the office in October, you know what I mean? And 
No. <laughs> I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Okay. Okay, I also have this dress, but like, I don't know if it's like too much and exposing it. Also, like, how do you, are you supposed to put a bra on um, with this? Like, I got two different boobies right now. Like, one just, you know, like, what the, like, how are people my age supposed to dress? Like, is this appropriate? Like, I don't, <laughs> I'm not that old, but like, what, this just feels like too much. I don't even know why I have this in my closet. People, I'm assuming, wear booby tape with this because we're just drifting to different parts of the equator. What am I supposed to do with this? I don't, maybe skims or something. <sighs> we're just gonna breathe. We're just gonna breathe. Face is cute though, hair is cute though. We just, we just gotta find an outfit to go with it. That's it. That's all. That's all we're doing. That's all we're doing. We're finding an outfit after I threw everything out. Okay. Don't mind the room, always messy, you already know that. So I think I'm going to settle on this dress. It's kind of like a slip dress kind of situation with a slit in the front. It's a little bit long, but if I put a little heel on, you know, whatever. It does look a, it looks a teeny bit formal, but I feel like if I dress it down a little bit, it'll be fine. So, this is very loud. I think we are settled with this look. I think this is it. Hold on, maybe I can put you down here. Right there, so that's the situation. This is what we're working with, you know. She's cute, she's whatever, she's giving. She's here, but also there. Yeah, stage left and back in. And with confidence, nervous, but confident. And twirl, yes honey, yes girl. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to hype myself up right now, okay. Sometimes I have these moments where I'm just like, I don't know what it is. Lately, I've been thinking it's the hair. Like I just, the hair feels like maybe. Oh, look at the back. Look at look at the back. Also, look at the back. Look at look at that sexy back. I should wear more stuff like this. Like the other dress was like risque in a sense a little bit because it was like open here and it was also open in the back. But this is just like calm, cool, and collected. And then it's just like oh, oh, <laughs> you dropped that. You shouldn't have. Yay. Yeah, right? <laughs> but. Yeah, I don't know. Lately, I've just been feeling insecure. Whenever I like take my hair out and it's just like this now, I'm just like, am I ugly because of my hair? Or just is it my personality? I don't know. There's just, I have this weird thing about just like, I don't know, not feeling so great with myself. But then when like I try and I doll myself up, there's a bug in here. When I doll myself up and really try, She's pretty darn cute. Okay, so I'm going to put on some lotion, put on some shoes, and then we'll head out to dinner. This is just, I feel so cute. I forgot, I wear glasses, gotta complete the look, gotta complete the look. I don't know, I just feel like I look a little more edgier with the glasses. I've been contemplating getting contacts, but like sometimes when you put the glasses on, it's just like, who is she? You know, oh wait, wait, and the nose ring, hold on. And then the nose ring in full effect, like who is this? I might just go get a tattoo, another one tomorrow, you know? But this is me, this is who she is. And she's ready to go. That's right, I lied. I wasn't going on a real date. I am, however, on a date with myself. <laughs> Knee slapper, I lied to all of y'all. We're on a date with me and my very loud, um, busy street that I live on. Anyways, how many of you were like on to me from like the beginning? Like from the beginning, beginning, she was just like, mm, this bitch is lying, she ain't going on a real date. I was lying from the jump, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have participated in that whole probably old trend of pretending I'm going on a date and then actually going on a date with myself. Can you believe it? Yes. Um, here's the thing. Always down in the dumps. That's just me. That's just who I am. I try to stay positive for the most part. Um, but I did this as a sort of not experiment because I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and be like I'm having a social experiment because I'm not even being social right now. But um, I have learn that i do need to try and push myself to be a little bit more outgoing and then maybe i can make more friends because i'm at this very early late age of 25 and i have no friends to go hang out with you know i don't 
need many friends to go hang out with you know on the weekends or whatever but i'd like to have at least one or two friends just to be like hey and you know i love you guys you guys that watch the videos you guys are my friends as well but like i need someone in person and you know someone to sit on the other end of this table with me there's two chairs i'm occupying one someone needs to occupy the other one so um what was i trying to say i know it makes no sense to you but it makes a lot of sense to me that um, this was a way to encourage myself to be a little bit more outgoing and to just be in touch with myself and try to like want to do things because I do want to do things but then I get I let my anxiety get the best of me and then I never go anywhere and like that's just not fun so I never want to be like this forever I love having little solo dates with myself just to kind of like touch in with me touch in with Genesis you know and see how she's doing see how she's been but like challenge myself to go on solo dates outside of the home you know try to do things outside of the house by myself and then maybe just maybe um with a little more confidence i can make friends and whatnot or whatever but it's also good to have dates with yourself i know i fooled all of you i fooled all of you all of you thought that i was so late to this fake date <laughs> oh my goodness i love it but um be honest though if you cut on from like the moment i turn on the camera leave a comment down below and let me know and say bitch i knew from the beginning you were lying who's gonna go on a date with you <laughs> anyways <laughs> so um i am really gonna have a little date with myself i actually hold that thought I actually have like this whole thing, this whole setup. I made my usual little little noodle dish that I love to eat with my eggs. Hard boiled eggs, you know me. I have they have to be like well done. And then wine. I love this bottle of wine. I do have another one, it's too sweet for me, but I'm gonna finish this bottle of wine. And yeah. I'm gonna have a really good time. I'm happy, I feel good, I look good. I'm gonna eat some of my favorite foods drink some of my favorite wine and then just kick it it's honestly it's a wednesday night i wasn't really gonna be doing anything on a wednesday night <laughs> although i'm living in my prime years right now like prime days i'm not even doing anything on a wednesday night it's just unrealistic and i have to go to work tomorrow it's just what what so what i really should do is just fill this whole thing up to the top but <laughs> But yeah, I'm just going to sit here and kind of enjoy my living room slash dining area. I haven't really sat down and had a proper, proper meal. I mean, I've ate on this table once or twice and I've gotten it, but like I haven't really sat down and like enjoyed it. But really, this is all that I had planned um, for today. And if anything, I will see you guys on the next video. More to come as always. And thank you guys so much for watching. And um, leave a comment down below and then I will shout you out on the next video because there are people now who are commenting and always coming back, which is warming my heart so much. I feel like it. you guys are my friends. Of course, you know, I wish I could have you sit in front of me, but like it just feels so nice to like see people coming back to the channel and saying, hey, love the video, love your vlogs, yada yada, you know. It just makes me feel good. So if you leave a comment down below on this vlog, I will make sure to shout you out on the next one. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video. And don't forget to have a date with yourself. Sometimes you just need a solo date. There's nothing wrong with that. Except for me, who's a loner, who needs to stop being a loner, but yeah. Thank you, bye. Also, this dress though was like too much to be wearing on a date. Like who did I think, I mean, it's not that much, but like still, where did I think I was going? Where did I think I was going, honestly?